I hereby decree that today it is Mario time. So, yeah, let's just play some Mario. Frickin' Mar- Super frickin' Mario! Now I just gotta find- Oh, there it is. Alright, I love that title screen. Actually, let me just move this real quick. Oh. Ah! Bro, oh, this thing is never quite right, is it? Okay. That looks a little better, I think. I feel like the game's a little bit cut off, actually. Okay, that should be fine. Sorry, let me just fix it. There. Okay. Oh, wait, crap. It's still cut off. There. Okay, now it's perfect. Let's continue with Super Mario. That's that's just what it's called now, guys. And then Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, Super Mario Lost Level. That's what All Stars calls it, guys. Man, I don't remember beating this. When? When did I do that? Well, I don't want to just delete the file. Wait, when did I... Okay, apparently I did play this. Bro. Oh. Okay, didn't beat Mario 3, though. Okay, well, let's just do this. Oh, wait, no, that's not the right game. What am I doing? Okay. I forget, is the hard mode in this version? Probably not, but doesn't matter. Who cares about hard mode? Do, do. I like the little picture that they add. Do, 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 Okay, I just wish the lighting was a little bit better. Um... Oh, hey, that, that works. Okay. A little bit anyway. It's just dark today. Crappy out, you know? Anyway... Okay, that no 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 that didn't count. Bro. Oh yeah, I'm completely thrown off because the freaking game does not have any sort of like jump off an enemy and press B sort of thing. 
Like, when I jump off an enemy... Oh, wait. No, I don't want to skip that. Screw it. The coins are for babies. Okay. I'm gonna guess... Wait. Bro, there's supposed to be a bush indicating that there is a frickin... In one up there. So I get the tail end of the bush. Oh, let's go. Man, who needs to... You know what, I've played this game plenty of times boringly. Let's just wing it. I'm not gonna be too boring this time. Let's go. One, two. I miss the blue pallet Goombas. They look funny. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Normally I would try to smash all the br bricks in the level, but I don't really care to do that today. We're not smashing these brick blocks. Okay, let's do these ones though. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. That didn't count there. That didn't count. Nope! Bro, oh, it's just off-putting. The game looks, like, graphically improved, but it still controls, like, the old one, kind of. But also, not really. Like, it looks like it would play better, but it doesn't. But I still like SME 1 All-Star quite a bit. The graphics are nice. And the new, like, sprites and backgrounds and stuff are... Yeah, pretty cool. They got more animations, all that. It's the first example I can really think of of a video game remake. No. No. I refuse to die. I refuse to get hurt. Okay. On lighter levels, I won't get. I won't do it as often or at all. Just want to get through the game, so I don't want to freaking die and then be like, oh, I gotta go back, like, to waste time, you know? That's my main concern. I just want to get through the game, man. I'm impatient. Boom. Like the little flag on top of the castle. Those are cool. Let's go. Oh, it's Bowser. Guys, it's the real Bowser.
Oh yeah, I forgot. They didn't. They never did fix that stupid thing where it's like, oh, you're Fire Mario, even though you got a mushroom. I mean, you're not Fire Mario, even though you got a fire flower. I'm pretty used to. This. Okay, let let's kill him. Kill him. Goomba. Do 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 do. Thank you, Mario! I have great guessing at another cash! Okay, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. I apologize. Thank you, Mario! Oh, fire flower. Eh, whatever. No. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm willing to take a hit, but that. No. I will not accept defeat. For me, sir. Oh, cool. I played a Mario before. I can do this. Oh, let's go. The mines are cool. Let's get some coins. Why is the jump physics just lack? Damn it. Okay. You know, if I saw my face in the background, I'd be kind of creeped out. Just floating there in the sky. I'm used to the Mario Maker control, so I'm a little thrown off by Mario 1, honestly. Even though I've played Mario 1 plenty of times. I don't know why, I just see this and I'm thinking of Mario Maker at the moment. It's been a hot second since I played OG SM1, but I've played it a lot of times. So, I don't know. I just noticed the freaking bottom of the screen is cut off. I apologize in advance. You can't even see the ground. What is wrong with me? There. Now nothing is awkwardly cut off from the game. A lot was easier with small Mario, honestly, so I'm glad I'm small Mario. Mm -hmm. I like this version of the song. It's got a nice calming feel to it. I am the coin connoisseur. I must get the coins. Hold up. Hmm. 
Let's go. Ah, crap. The top of the screen is cut off too. How are you going to see my score? That's important information. Okay. Damn. I keep this. I, I'm blowing it here. With this stream thing. You're going to miss my score and the time limit on the level. How are you going to see any of that? Uh, there. Now it's not too zoomed in, but it's also, like, big enough, I think. Damn, I wish it wasn't so frickin' dark in here. Oh, it's the level with the fish. I like how they added, like, giant Goomba statues. They look fun. Honestly, these kind of levels are my favorite in this game. They're fun. It's just a nice dash to the goal. Not much to worry about. You just jump in. Avoiding fit. No. Avoiding fish as you go. No! Let me get the pole! Okay. Yahoo! It's a me, Mario! I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. Bro. What? What? Okay. Those things are kind of annoying. I love the freaking weird crotch pose Mario has in this freaking game. Like, in Mario 1, 8-bit, it just, it kind of looks fine because it's the 8-bit sprite, but like, here, it just kind of looks wrong. Like, he's just doing this crotch thing when he crouches. Imagine sitting like that. Bro, he looks so weird. Bro, Fire Mario is even more OP in this game, I feel like. Against Bowser, anyway. Bruh, I forgot that there's multiple toads. Oh wow, yeah, I forgot about the snow sparkly stars level. They add quite a bit of aesthetic variation to the levels, so it all looks pretty. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it does look nice. Giant peace sign, question mark. all the blocks well here I mean it's fair enough right damn it I'm 
already on World 31, so that's fun. Before you know it, I'll beat Mario 1. And then, um... Lost Levels? I don't know if I'll have time for that today, but... Honestly, I don't even remember playing these games, but apparently I did, so... I mean, on Switch. Not sure when I did it. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of superstars. Bro, what happened to the freaking star combo? Is that not a thing yet? Okay. Oh yeah, I forget. That isn't really an SMB one. You got a star and one-up kind of thing. But the Koopa Troopas are. Yeah, that thing. The score multiplier. Or so, whatever it's called. Bro, these levels are easy, bro. Easy. The graphics are. The textures look so nice. Okay, no, 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 no. Three of them. Three toads. really my fault, I, I think. Also, this level's too easy with the fire flower anyway. I might not having it. For now. No, okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, hold on. That's not... This isn't what I... Okay, okay, okay. I, that's gonna run around. It's just a trap anyway. I know you're supposed to run around from the lack of two. I know what you're supposed to do. Also, what the- blah, 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 blah. No. Wait, wait, wait. 
got him. Got him. I feel like not having the black borders is kind of weird, actually. There. Actually, no, those look ugly. I, I take it back. My borders are better. Although, let me just trim off a little bit more of it. any part of the screen. Yeah, I don't know. Freaking Mario 1 Mario is so slippery. I feel like sometimes. Who needs a level? Yeah, 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 dump it, dump it, dump it all. There he is. I just wanted to hear the sound effect they make. trying to go this way and it didn't let me am I supposed to make Mario 1 style levels? We need pulleys. Bro. The physics are the reason I die most of the time. Like, like, like what is that? Okay. Okay. It's fine. I know how to play Mario.
I don't feel like I should, you know. Sometimes when you die in this game, though, it just feels like you're dead because Mario feels a little bit weird to control, you know? You know? Oh, uh, yeah, um, I don't remember the order, but, and this game has a little ding-dong sound. Oh, yeah, top, mid, uh, bottom, I think. I don't know, no, 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 no. There. There. Uh, I forgot they even have their own different animations, too. That was a lot of time. through the block. Okay, okay, shut up. What? Okay. Everyone says hammer brothers are so hard, but all you gotta do is wait for them to throw a couple hammers and then they do their ha and they're wide open. Like, come on, man. Really? They're not that hard. I learned that because of how telegraphed they are in Mario Maker, but like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's, that's a good idea. Boom! Small Mario anyway, he's fun. Although I will take a mushroom if I see one. Stop with the stupid physics, you game. Mario, you suck, okay. 
Bro. I would have gotten that anyway. This game's kind of wacky. Oh shoot! Get away! Um. Oh wait, this is it. Ah! Drag! I hate the hitbox on that thing sometimes. Okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. Fine. Screw off, Bowser. Ah! Blah, 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 blah. Ah, you little blah, blah, blah. What the heck? Okay. There. Nailed it. First try. Gamer moment. Mara, they're so funny. How could you hate Toad? Freaking love Toad. A lot of people are like, oh, Toad sucks. And I'm like, bruh, really? Toad's the goat. Okay, okay, okay. I was just trying to farm for coins. Don't mind me. Just let me do my business. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that was a bad idea. Fine, fine, fine. You know what? Screw you, Lakachu. I didn't feel like getting the coins. I'm just here to freaking, I don't know, run around, I guess. Bro, you suck. Should have landed. Okay. Excuse me, how was I supposed to know he was there? Sir. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Nailed it.
Okay. Mid. All these levels are the same thing except with more fire. Ah, uh, okay. I'm too used to how the original Mario one controls, so everything is just a little bit. Oh crap, okay, 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 okay. I gotta run underneath him. God. See what they did. Wait, what the hell? Bruh, they're in a giant mushroom cap. What the heck's going on? Screw the coins, they're too dangerous now. Okay. No, they don't feel that slow in this game. And Mario water levels feel, you know, they're they're usually pretty fun. Other series, I don't know. I don't really play a ton of not Mario or Sonic platformers, honestly. When I do, it's like Crash, Kirby. Well, actually, I play a lot of Kirby and Crash. Kirby has good water level. What the hell? Okay, he blocked me. That wasn't fair. Bunch of annoyingly placed Koopas here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. My reaction. Uh. Annoyingly placed Koopa Troopas. Uh, and I, the jump didn't work. Wasn't my fault. It was the game not working, obviously. Okay. Bro, just, just stop, Mario. Just, just stop. Bro goes too fast, I feel.
Bro, just, just, just stop, Mario. Just stop. Okay, wait. Bottom. Oh, yeah. Bottom, middle, top. Yeah, I remember. Top. Bottom. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Middle. I remember now. Top, middle, top. There we go. I, I basically had it. Alright. Oh my god, Mario keeps freaking slip sliding into all the enemies. It's not my fault. It's... The game has... Weird physics, man. Not my fault. What the hell? Oh, that's a freaking... What? <laughs> I forgot how weird this game was. Freaking Snow White Seven Dwarves or something, I guess. Uh, okay, World A. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a save feature. I remember this level used to be like super hard when I was like 10 years old or something playing this game. Now it's like nothing. <laughs> now it's like nothing. Dice your Goomba. Bro! Just. Stop it! Okay, actually. I know what to do, but I just didn't feel like it. I spent hours stomping Koopa! As a bonus, I'm gonna play, um, versus Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Ah, blah, blah. Super Mario Brothers on the Arcade Archives thing on Switch. Ah. Bro! Mario's so freaking weird to control in midair. But, um, that will be after I beat, like, Mario 3. As a little thing to play before Mario 64. I have fun here playing games with rewind slash shape states. That's just how it is, but I mean, I'd still be able to beat the game without them. I just choose not to use them. I mean, I choose to use them because it's more convenient. Thank you. 
Okay. Saved a princess. Bro, just screw off with your Goomba crap. Oh yeah, this one. Um okay. This one. Oh wait, no, not that one. No, 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 not that one. This one. Ah, oh, my God. No. Okay, and then uh, this one. I know, I know the route. Bro, you suck. How was I supposed to know you are gonna corner me? You frickin' blooper! Blarg! Blarg! Okay. CF I was playing Mario. up a tiny Mario, apparently. Thank you, Mario. The kingdom is safe. Now try a more difficult quest. Bruh. Thank you. The kingdom is safe. Just now try a more difficult... That sounds like a screw you to me. Like a Sunday afternoon, I should play this one now. Luigi time. Okay, I think I'm gonna cheat less, so I should um do this first. 
Oh god, I hate Luigi, actually. Bro, wait, how do you freaking do this crap? Ugh. <laughs> Be right back. I am back again. Okay. trick. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go back. I think I hit him in the wrong spot, honestly. Okay, so like right here. No. You, there's a way of doing this. It doesn't involve dying. I think you gotta be like... I see now. Okay, so... This way... No, 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 no! Luigi! Luigi! How do you do it? I could have sworn I remember doing it contained there, but okay. Wait, there. There's a mushroom there. Oh. Ah, damn it. This sucks. Okay, okay, okay. We got, we got this, gamers. Oh, wait. I'm stupid. Well, not really, but... Okay, so... This guy is doing it like this. Oh, okay. That's clever. I see... Okay. Never mind. Bro! I keep screwing myself over when I'm trying to do this. Okay. See what he's doing, though. 
Okay. There. Not how the guy in the video did it. Okay. What? What? Just what? No. Okay. Screw it. I'm not doing this anymore. Just gonna play the game. Luigi will be all struck. Bro. Just, bro. I can beat Mario All-Stars, like, no problem. Though. This game, honestly, not, I mean, a little bit annoying, but not that hard. It's just a little bit trolling. Nope. Nope. Not hard. Not, it's not, it's not hard. It's not that difficult, guys. You got it all wrong here. Wait, what the hell? Okay. You got it all wrong here. Mario All-Stars. Not a great game. Like, not the best Mario game, but it's fun. I mean, Mario Lost Levels. Not Mario All-Stars. Mario All-Stars is peak. The body is started because Luigi is here. How many levels till we start having major issues here? Flying bloopers? What the heck's going on here? Okay. No! If the physics freaking screw me over, I'm not gonna count it. Bro. Imagine how I'd get with, like, Sonic Heroes or something. Or Shadow of the Hedgehog. Those games are slippery as hell. Slippery as hell, bro. Boom. I was crouching. What? What the hell? Okay. Wait, what? Does that not work? Okay, it works. It just... The game... Wait, what? Okay, so I'm holding forward and I'm crouching, but... It, like, keeps uncrouching me, I guess. I think it's just because the freaking Switch Pro Controller doesn't read my inputs. Like in like a SNES controller one there. I don't, I don't know. That doesn't... Wait. Bro. Oh, okay. You know what? Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm not gonna 
keep holding on to this power up. I was just making it too hard anyway. Speaking of Bowser, goodbye. Thank you, Luigi. Kind of bullshit, but whatever. So far, it just feels like, you know, a proper follow up Mario 1. I like how the freaking pipes just have, like, tiles between them because they couldn't fill it with more water. It just feels like a follow up of Mario 1. I don't see the problem here. Game sequels kind of like that back to okay. I mean, to be fair, Mega Man 2 is pretty different from Mega Man 1, like entirely. But, like, remember, this is 1986, right? Sequels back then were in like huge variations, right? This is like Mario 1, the DLC. For what it is, it feels fine. Sorry, I, was, I got a Discord DM, so I wasn't really paying attention for a second there. Bro. Honestly, Luigi is an easy mode. But, whatever. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, but as part of Mario 3, I'm going to be playing World E as well. I'll just load up my, uh, you know, GBA emulator, and then we got frickin', I got a save state. Um, I got a frickin', like, patch that unlocks the E-Reader levels, like in the Wii U version of the game. Oh no, I'm stuck here. Whatever shall I do? Block. You know, it just feels funner to play the game with Luigi anyway. Luigi just feels fun. I like the high jumps. Let's go. What? Okay. That, 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 that shouldn't have killed. That shouldn't have had killed me. That was ridiculous. Whatever. I'm not even gonna argue it. I will argue that, though. I will argue this, because... 
this I was just guessing my safe state. Doesn't the slide work properly? No, 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 you, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, whatever. He's dead. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I should change the game to lost levels. But, whatever, I forgot to do that. Bro. Serious? He spawned it. Also, this is the first Mario game that introduced high jumping off enemies, so like, it did something for the franchise here. Um. <laughs> that was funny. No! Okay. Bro. Funny troll moment. Wait, what? What? What the hell? Okay. So someone clipped that. That was that was silly. screen there by accident. Bro, what is wrong with me? How did that even happen? I it must have clicked something while I was playing. I'll just leave that in as a goof. I feel like this level just wants you to get hit. Bro! The freaking water suction crab just gets you. Okay, whatever. That was kind of wacky. That was kind of quirky, guys. Eh, whatever. It's easy to jump over the pole with Luigi. Uh, true. 
Pretty wacky. Yeah, that one was kind of annoying. Bro, there's so many Koopas. <laughs> no. No. I have much funner with Luigi. I know he can jump way high, but I just like Luigi. Why does his death sprite look so fat? <laughs> he looks like Mario. Bro. Bro. I said it before, but I hate how much I slip slide in, in these games. It isn't just because I'm playing Luigi. I play as both of them because I'm a masochist and I've played this game at least eight times or five times in my whole entire life. Six times too many. Oh, right. Um. Wait. Yeah, I ha actually. Actually, hold up. Let me just let me just show you. Wait, what the hell? Crap! I don't want to delete any of them. It's the problem with keeping safe states. They're all for different games. They should make more just for this one. Let me let me just go on here real quick. Just show you. Well, of course, I want to unlock world, um... Oh, wait, no. Damn it. Okay, that's... That's three times on the NES version. On Switch Online. Bro, you never be... Uh, okay, well, to be fair, I... Didn't really do it without saves. Well, bro, you got world 8? You didn't beat the game? Six hours, 48 minutes. Not a true Mario fan. You didn't play the last level. 13 hours, 9 minutes. 6 hours, 16 minutes. Bruh, Mario 2, man. Bro, just look at all the time I have on all these games. How did I spend 1 hour and 40 minutes on Dr. Mario? I don't even remember how I ended up doing that. I'm never... I'm never... I never do well I played it with all the characters and also I kinda just grinded all the levels. So, um two hours thirty four minutes for wrecking crew, never playing it again. <laughs> True. Mario two is for seven hours of Donkey Kong. Seven hours of Donkey Kong. Oh really? Mario two? That's pretty cool, bruh. Oh wait, 13 hours Mario 3, now Mario... Wait, they have the same amount of time. <laughs> I, did. I was real bored one day and just kept grinding Donkey Kong. I didn't have any better games at the time. I was on the gamer grind, I don't know. Okay, that's enough of that. How do you play? I, I, I don't know, I just was playing Donkey Kong. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I have to show you my my famed balloon fight time. Master of balloon fight, I am. Um. Um. Freaking played each of these games for like five minutes and never. Okay, except for soccer. That's actually a fun game. I never even played volleyball. <laughs> Um. Wait, I played Ice Climber for one hour? I don't even remember playing this. When did I play Ice Climber? Um. 97 minutes, that's not that bad. I also played a lot on 3, yeah. Uh, Balloon Fight. Oh. 7 hours, 48 minutes, Balloon Fight. <laughs> I hate Clinkle Land. I'm not playing that one. Okay. Seven hours. The Balloon Fight Chat. I beat every level of Balloon Fight. 
the balloon fight champion here. Let's go. I am a proud balloon fight gamer. Ah, shut up. Okay, I hate the, I hate the mazes in this game specifically. I mean, that's probably a pretty good game to be fair, but I just never really played it because I'm not much of a golf person. Uh, wait, whoa! I did it. Not much of a golf person. Bro, why isn't it beeping? Bro, what the hell? What, where you at? What, 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 what way are you supposed to go? Which way? see your message because uh, the chat screen is so small on this thing crap okay um, I'm gonna look this one up world three four lost levels how do you beat this again oh okay Mario wiki has the path Yeah, you are supposed to go in the bottom, but, like, that's annoying. Oh, I forgot. They want you to get hit by a stupid plant. A stupid piranha plant. Oh, you just run. Okay. Fine. Goodbye, power up. Get hit to win the level. Bro. True, Mario World's one of my favorite games in the series. And, well, it's pretty up there, but I prefer 3D Mario. Wait, which. No. I think I want to go up here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm, I'd say it's like top four, maybe. I don't know. Spin ops also might go above Mario World for me, honestly. Like, I, I, I like Mario World. Don't get me wrong. I just. I, I like Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi more. Games like those are what really made me Mario fans. As much as the 2D games are all, you know, pretty special to me. I, I didn't play them as much as a kid. Like, I had the GBA games, but I never really got too far in them because I kind of sucked. But, the 3D Mario games and, like, spin-offs are what carried Mario for me, so. I don't know. I just held them in higher regard. But, you know, all those 2D Mario games... They're, they're, of course, super cool. I just didn't really beat most of them until pretty recently. I never played... Never beat Super Mario Land. Though I do remember... Maybe I got to, like, World 3 as a kid. Never played Mario Land 2. I mean, to be fair, I feel like that's one most people never really played. Never beat NS and B. I might have gotten to, like, World 4 as a kid. Did that recently. As in, like, three years ago. Um, what else? 
Yeah, level design is solid attack. Even if it's a little bit easier than the other games. Like, it's still really fun. You can't go wrong with Super Mario World. Uh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. Bro, these guys are so annoying. Yeah, Mario Galaxy 1 is like my one of my favorite Mario games ever. Definitely, man. Mario Galaxy 2 is pretty close though. I just I like the atmosphere of the first game a little bit more. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, the level design is probably a, maybe a bit better than Mario, Mario Galaxy 1, debatably. Like, it feels really fun, it's just the atmosphere isn't as good. So it's hard to say which one I really like more. Like, if you combine both the atmosphere of the first game and the level design of the second, I feel like you'd have a perfect game. Nothing feels quite like Mario Galaxy. And... I feel like the atmosphere of Mario Sunshine also is really good. Just... The levels feel pretty annoying. Sometimes. But, you know, I actually quite like the game when I played it. It's just kind of a hard to say where I'd place it kind of game. Never beat it as a kid. Beat it recently on 3D All-Stars. Is... Is a video game. I have beaten Mario 64, but I never 120 starred it until 3D All-Stars either. Yeah, I love the vibes in that game. Like... The vacation vibes, the weird enemies, the music's pretty good. And also, actually, the NPC dialogue is pretty funny. I feel like that's an underrated aspect of the game. Like, I read, like, every mission, they have something different to say related to whatever's going on. I think that's pretty cool. Reminds me of, like, RBGs and stuff. Making some pretty good time here. Imagine in another 40 minutes or so I could beat the game. Maybe. Yeah, the gimmicks do make it kind of fun. The gimmicks aren't my problem, it was just, like, the level design kind of being weird, but it is fun. If we were given more time to be, like, a great Mario game, because it was kind of rushed to have a, Mar a Super Mario on the GameCube, like, I think it would be pretty good. Like, higher up there for me. thing sucks like as much as far as I hold right he stole is not going that way bro bro just stop it just stop just stop it man okay whatever I'll go this way fine let's take the hit bro I got a mushroom anyway they knew what they were doing Oh, yeah, man. Um, like, I don't know. Some people don't really like the NES online service. I'm more in the middle. 
I feel like it's a pretty good deal if you just kind of want to... You don't care about owning the classic games and, like... You just want to just casually pop in a bunch of stuff. Because, like, for me, I like to play a bunch of games, but I don't really, like, find myself replaying the same games all that often. I kind of just pop in whatever I feel like at the time. So... And to me, the N64 thing wasn't a good deal at first, but, like, you get free Mario Kart courses, Splatoon 2 DLC, Animal Crossing DLC with it. If you have those games, it's a pretty, and don't have the DLC, it's a pretty good sell, selling point, I would say. Just, I don't know. They offered, like, you know, alternatives. If you just wanted to buy the game instead of getting a subscription, then I think it'd be fine. I still don't think you should be paying for online, because, like, that, no company should be doing that. It's annoying. You know, you already have to pay for internet, but, like, as a freaking subscription deal for the games online thing or whatever, I think it's okay, at least. Better than whatever Sony is doing. Like, they should freaking have backwards compatibility. But there are games. This freaking Sony CEO does not give a crap about older games. Bruh. Yeah, Nintendo got like, overconfident after the the Switch became a success, success. So they were just like, "Okay, we're we're we're, we're charging you for everything," which is fine. It's just you know, either Nintendo is humble because they're failing, or they're just doing stupid stuff because they're successful. I like Nintendo though, despite their stupid crap they do. Yeah, that's that's the one thing it has going for it. Unless you get the expansion pass, which kind of is overpriced a little bit, but whatever. I would just get it to play Mario Party, because I like Mario Party a lot, and also, I didn't own the Splatoon DLC, so, um, you know, that, that's fine, I'd play that. Boom. Oh yeah, CF, do you have Superstars? That's one of my favorite Mario games, honestly. Mario Party Superstars. It's really good. They did a good job. Making a package deal. I just wish it got DLC. Stream Mario Party yet? Actually, I used I I've just mostly played it a bunch with my family, but I mean I wouldn't mind playing with other people if they ever wanted to do a stream with me or something. Oh, Pog, maybe maybe doing like a multiplayer thing would be kind of cool one for one of these days. I don't know. I'd have to just see because. The only reason I haven't really done those kinds of streams a ton is just because it's hard to schedule sometimes with my friends. People busy. Let's go. We're almost at World 8. Honestly, I'm not too new, doing too bad here. And... I think this game is not that hard, honestly. Like, it's a little bit annoying. And I don't think it's like a tar I don't think it's a bad game. I just don't think it's a, like, great game. I honestly don't hate Lost Levels like other people. But that's just because I don't really hate any of the 
main Super Mario games. Like, I'm sorry. Call me a Mario shell or something, but none of the, I don't think any of the Mario main series is bad. Actually, unless you count Mario Maker for 3DS, which, I mean, I count... I count the Maker games as main series, so, um, yeah, Mario Maker for 3DS kinda sucks. But I did like, I did like the, um, campaign question, campaign quote-unquote mode of that game. I bought the, I bought it the game for freaking $20 as a Nintendo Select just to play the levels that were put in that game. And they were pretty decent. I like the little challenges they have. If you were to buy that game, it'd be for that and nothing else, because what what's the point? You can't post levels online, the service is kind of, you know, Mario Maker Online Wii, on the Wii U is probably kind of dead, but maybe people are still making good levels for it, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know, for me, I can't really say there's any I ever hated other than, like, I don't know, I didn't hate, I liked, I actually liked Tennis Open quite a bit on the 3DS, but I feel like that's when I just stopped caring about the sports games. I knew something was different with them, like, they didn't feel the same to me anymore, so. I wasn't interested. They, they just lost that Mario spark that they had. I wouldn't say Mo Tennis Open or, like, Aces or any of those games are bad games, they just... They don't feel like... Bro. Well, I didn't really play much of the 64 ones, but that's when they like started to become... For me, I think they became... They peaked at the GameCube, but... I mean, that's pretty valid too. Like, the sports games really made their mark on the Nintendo 64. Like, there's Mario Sports before that. Like, freaking NES Golf or whatever. Tennis on Virtual Boy, but like, nobody really played those games. There was a bunch of them on the Nintendo 64, and then there was even more on the GameCube. So, like, ever since then, it's been a staple for the Mario series. Like, you can't think of Mario without thinking, oh yeah, this guy plays a bunch of sports too. It gets brought up, or it gets referenced all the time, like, I mean, I know they're not always, like, stuff people play, but... Oh yeah, the GameCube ones are pretty fun. I recommend Power Tennis. That's, like, one of my favorite Mario games, honestly. And, um... As for other games, the Wii entries of certain series are better. Like, Mario Strikers Charge on the Wii, I hear it's really good. And, um... Frickin' uh, Mario Super Sluggers is another one of my favorite Mario games. It, it's just a fun game. Where, where's, when's the new Mario Baseball? And don't make it a freaking sterile bad game, Nintendo. Okay, I don't mean bad game. I like the new Mario Strikers game. It was fun, but it's sterile as heck, and there's like no characters. Oh yeah, the, arm, the handheld games are so cool. I love those games. I played a lot of uh, Power Tour on GBA mostly. That was one of my favorites too. Even though some people like the GB, the Game Boy Color one more. I didn't really play it. I didn't play that one, so I don't know, but it's just the one I had as a kid, bro. I don't know. To me, the most kind of their Mario series out there is like Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I never really played much of those games, so... I mean, that's fair, but they all kind of seem like mostly the same thing, so I just... Eh. I mean, I'm sure they're all fun, and just... Not really my thing. I don't really play a ton of puzzle games, but they can be pretty fun. Sometimes. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh crap. Um, switch unplugged. Let me just. Oh, it's back. Okay. Oh yeah, either you it was Tennis Open, Golf, World Tour, or Ultra Smash. Unless you're, I mean, not, sorry, not Ultra Smash, um, Super, Sports Superstars. Or if you mean Virtual Console Games, there's Mario Tennis, Game Boy Color, it's just called Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Color, or Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color. Yeah, I like the first one. I played a little bit of that on the 3DS Ambassador program, along with a couple other GBI games I never really played. Honestly, like, as a kid, I never even knew Kirby and the Amazing Mirror even existed. Like, I saw the game mentioned in Brawl, and I was like, huh? That game exists? <laughs> never heard of it. Honestly, I just, I don't know how. It was just never advertised on TV or anything. Just... The game kind of existed, I guess. I feel like it was the same thing for me discovering there was a Super Mario Land 2 on the Mario Wiki in like 2012. I was like, huh? There's a Mario Land 2? <laughs> the, the games kind of just flew under the radar, I guess. I don't know. Even though they're good games. chose to go that way anyway. Bro, okay. Bro. Yeah. For me, it's uh, Power Tennis, Super Sluggers, and yeah, those, those two were top. I actually didn't play Striker Storage on Wii, but people say that one's really good too. I played the first one a lot and I liked it quite a bit, but I don't really remember much of my experience with it, other than I liked the Super Team Robots a lot. I thought those were cool. I even briefly played soccer a little bit because of the game. Cool sport. Bro, just, just, just stop, bro. My favorite Mario spin offs are the GameCube Mario parties. They're some of my favorite games ever. Just some comfy games to play with the family or yourself and have fun. You know, it's admirable. They may not be the most complicated things out there, but they're fun. You just pop in and play. Bro, just, just stop it, Bowser. Well, at least it isn't wrecking crew. I'm gonna just just wrecking crew every chance I have now. That game stole my stole my life, bruh. What are those toads doing? They're being silly. Let's go. Ugh. Sorry. Let me just fix this over here. Yeah, I agree. Simplicity can be fun and a good thing.
I feel like I tend to prefer simple games, but, like, I, sometimes I can play certain complicated things. It just depends, really. Oh, okay, we got the frickin' wind here. The wind level, that's everyone's favorite game. Bro, just stop it. Let's go. We're almost done. Just gotta get through worlds A through D and then game's over. I'm having fun though. Especially with all y'all here. It's a riot. Good way to make games more, even more fun than they already are. But to share my experience with, with others. Hang out, have a good time. Um, I think I go in here. Oh, cool. Let's go. Okay, that kind of sucked. Eh. There. Heck, I think a lot of people prefer simplicity too. I mean, why do you think the new Super Mario Brothers game sold so well? It's freaking Mario. Like, might not be everyone's thing because, like, oh, the games are all the same or whatever. But, like, if you want, you just want a freaking simple to play Mario game. Like, not too complicated. Just freaking 2D Mario. You can play new Super Mario Brothers. They're, they're fun games. Tried and true. But I do agree, the games could be more, like, ambitious. I think that's why we haven't gotten a two, new 2D Mario in so long. That isn't Mario Maker, I mean. They're gonna make a big comeback, just like NSMB on the DS. The next 2D Mario game is gonna be crazy. No doubt. Whatever that is, I'm I'm here for the ride. Bro, the freaking wind. This plant is not helping. Maximum speed. Bro, this level sucks. Honestly, other than Odyssey and Luigi's Mansion 3, and like, stuff like that, I, I, I kind of feel like this era has kind of been, kind of a void. Like, we just got sports games. Okay, Mario Party's good again, that's good, but otherwise, I don't know, there's not really much to talk about with Mario lately. 
I just hope the movie will reignite, like, their energy with, like, making cool games, because, like... Obviously, they're not gonna make, like, a game inspired by the movie or anything. Mario has never really, you know, done anything like that. But, like... I'm sure it will inspire them to make more cool games. If it, you know, the movie's a hit, of course. I mean, just look at Sonic Frontiers. I'm sure part of the part of that game being as good as it is is because you know the Sonic movies were good. If one area is successful, all of them are successful. I mean, yeah. At the very least, I'd like the freaking like movie Mario and Mario Kart Tour or something. Like, I don't really see Nintendo doing stuff like that. They just. I mean, they aren't like Sega, they don't really cross-promote in such a way, but that would be cool. Like, frickin' movie Sonic and Sonic Forces speed battle on, on the frickin' phone. Like, just put Mario from the movie in the game. Mario Kart Tour. Just saying it, I know. It'd be pretty genius. Nintendo, hire this man. And uh, the no 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 that frickin' stop slipping around Luigi. Uh. Okay. Okay, this 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 sucks. This level sucks. The fireball's too close. Wait, 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 I think I found an opening. No. Bro, what do I do? Okay. Got him. even make sense. That's no bonus, it's mandatory. Bro. This freaking jump. Oh, 
All oh, right, I think there's like a beanstalk. And I don't want to get that star because that actively prevents me from getting said beanstalk. I remember now. No. 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 Close up. Bro, okay, you suck. Okay. Bro. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's really quite alright. Let's go! Weird hearing the normal music here. Honestly, I wish Sky Levels were a part of normal SMB1. I get they didn't do that because of space restrictions, but that'd be cool. It was. There's supposed to be more, what, much more of an emphasis on like land, sea, and sky, but they didn't really do it that too much. Like, I just wonder what the original Super Mario Brothers would look like if it was as it was envisioned. It probably just look a lot like Mario Three, honestly. But like, imagine if the hardware limitations didn't exist. What else would they do at the time? How different would Mario 1 be? I don't know. That'd be cool. Oh, bro, this is a whole sky level. I forgot Lost Levels did this. I like how it re-themes the levels. to make them more fresh. Bro. Just stop it. Wait, what? Oh, wait. It's one of those things. Isn't it? That was funny. I hate this freaking jump so much. <laughs> oh yeah, you're supposed to go here, I guess. But like, that's annoying. Wait, what? Ah, oh, this is one of those freaking levels, too? What the heck? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'll just look it up again. I forgot. 
Gregor. I can remember the Mario 1 maze pattern for the A4 pretty well. Easily, but not really this one, because... I don't know this game as much, other than, you know, the stupid, like, wind and stuff. Oh yeah, this jump sucks too. I mo most of the time I played this game, honestly, it was just in freaking Mario Crossover, because that game is awesome. That's the first time I actually beat the game. I gotta stream Mario Crossover eventually, maybe. That used to be one of my favorite things to play randomly on my PC back then. I go now. Uh. making that sound. That's the right way. Isn't it? No. Oh, wait. Probably a reason this paratrooper is here, right? Bro. By the way, CF, I don't know if you heard it earlier, but I'm doing World E as also part of my Mario 3 playthrough. So after I beat it on All Stars, I'm just gonna load up Mario Advance 3 and then do that. So that'll be interesting for you to see, I think. Kind of have through Mario Maker 2. I, at least I think I remember you played my um, some of my remakes, but uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Bro, this jump is impossible. Am I supposed to do that? I don't even know. 
What am I supposed to do exactly? Bro, this game sucks. Okay, I'm looking it up. Looking it up again. Wait, what? That's all you had to do? Bruh. guide I read didn't really make sense with the map because it just said went that way but I did and it didn't work so die wait what if I just ran under Bowser immediately no didn't quite work out That's the fake Bowser. He's not blue anymore, sadly. Bowser's brother! I'm sad they never acknowledged Bowser's brother again. Love how they just give you a random super mushroom. Peach doesn't kiss short people. It's, it's sad. Now try a more difficult quest. Okay, this time I will. Well, oh, what the heck is this? World 9 isn't that hard, by the way. Except on the NES version, you have to do it without dying. Once. But... Bruh, look how weird this freaking level is. There's plants underwater? What is this madness? How are the turtles breathing? Based on freaking um, the Japanese version of the Minus World. Because you could get like, minus 8, minus World minus 2, and World minus 3 in that version. Do, 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 do. Whoever designed them is pretty funny though. Bruh, freaking grass castle. This is like freaking a Mario Maker level or something.
Easy. forget what that says, I'll just have to look it up on the wiki. Let's see here. It says Arigato, or thank you. Alright, this kind of looks like 1-1 one, one of this game. But a little bit crazier. Mushroom! Oh god. Well, good thing that guy was a jumper. Uh... Bro, just, just stop. Fine, 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 fine. Keep on moving. Mushroom? Probably not. The game is not that generous, right? Yeah, screw Hammer Brothers. Oh, wow, those piranha plants are kissing. Bro, just, just stop. What the hell? Okay. It's world A2 and A1. Eh? I think I was supposed to keep it on screen. Oh well. That guy doesn't even fit the floor. The Hammer Brothers! Okay. Yeah. Charging right through this game. God. Are in the clouds and there's wind and fish and bloopers. And did I say I wasn't gonna use the rewind a lot? Yeah, I lied. But that's okay. I'm not using it as annoyingly as I did for SMB1. this process.
Bro. The block's aren't even worth getting at this point because it's so dangerous to do anything in these levels. I don't even see how it's remotely possible to get that. Maybe it's like, it is if you're really careful somehow, but no. Just not worth it. Freaking nipping at my toes over here. Let's go. B two and B one. What is this? Um, freaking bananas and pajamas. That's the obscure reference of the day. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of bananas in pajamas here, but it was a show. There were two giant banana people in costumes. They existed. Same, I had a VHS when I was like really little. It was kind of funny. There was like a giant rat guy, I think, and then I don't remember the other characters. It was a kind of like a fever dream show, honestly. I don't really remember much of it. It was kind of funny, though. Imagine I get it and it's just like a single coin. No, that'd be too lame. Yeah, this level looks like fun platforming. Let's go. I like platforming. Yeah. Okay, that that was kind of that was kind of crappy. Bro. Did I say fun? Okay. Now it's fun. Yeah. Oops, slipped on a turtle.
Yeah, true. I just remember a couple of the characters and the theme song. Not even ring chiming me that I got the right path now. Okay, just gonna look it up again. Um, I'm supposed to go down the pipe. what I had to do the whole time, I guess, yeah, oh, wait, no, wait, what, 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 no, wait, what, no, I'm confused, no, you know what, no, no, what are you supposed to freaking do, Okay, apparently you just go in the last pipe. I guess that makes sense. I thought it just kept looping. Oh. Yeah, that, that's, that is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, no, I don't want to skip the world D. Why would I do that? Oh, you're apparently just supposed to keep going forward. The pipes are a trick. It makes you think it's one of those stages, but it's not. Well, it is, but it also isn't. I don't know. It's weird. Oh crap. Hold up. Game uh, unplugged here. There it goes. Oh, on PC? Well, I don't know if you have Mac or... I forget if you had Mac or Windows, but I am... Um, I have a Sam Samsung Galaxy. So, I have... um. An app I got called Samsung Flow, which you just link up your phone either via USB, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi, and then it gets it on the computer screen. And then from there, you can just put the screen on OBS, and then there, there's your stream. It's mostly what I do for my streams. I just pop the game on OBS window, and that's pretty much it. Other than the little stream elements I have on the side, like the background and whatever. Looks nice and simple, but cool. Yeah, Android on PC is pretty easy. There was this Windows phone link app that came with my Windows 10 PC that I used to use, but that just, the game kept freezing most of the time. And I'd have to restart the app constantly, so that one isn't that good. I wouldn't recommend that one. I mean, the frame rate was kind of stable, I remember, I think, but 
Oh wait, no, it was the framework wasn't that good either. No, it wasn't that good. Samsung Flow is much better than the phone link thing. Oh. Alright, I gotta stop kicking my feet into the freaking switch plug. Um, there. Okay. These levels aren't too bad compared to the rest of the game, honestly. They're actually kind of fun. Like this level? That was so easy. The castle levels are always annoying, though. I know when to stop. I like, I love the Mario World Spring Zone. It's classic. Bro, the wind's drowning out some of the sand cha sound channels of the music. It's kind of faint, but one of the instruments is missing. That would happen in a lot in older NES games, too. Did you ever notice that the game over, that the, you know, Mario death theme is also in the, uh, the main theme though? Because like, it's like, da 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 And when you die, it's da 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 Like that. da 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 I mean, I feel like that's kind of obvious, but I don't really hear people talk about it. Like, it's kind of weird. Oh, capture card? Um, I have a freaking uh, let's see, Razer Ripsol HD. Because I have the Razer computer, I got that one because it was pretty affordable and it works pretty well. Um, oh wait, sorry, Razer, I'm, I'm trying to remember the specific model that I have, but yeah, th this specific one was like 160 at like GameStop. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, anyway, um, I want originally I was gonna get Elgato, which, I mean, we want, like, are you gonna make the most, like, top line? If you want something, like, that's the best one, then I'd recommend that, but you probably want one that's, that's almost as good stuff that you'd still want to go for, then probably use the Razer one. Yeah. Elgato is like one of the best. My only real problems I've had are not being able to really play stuff like PS3 because the freaking I need it like a like a HDMI split wire thing because the PlayStation 3 just doesn't let you capture natively using a capture card because that's like copy protection or something because of movies on the console. Yeah, unless you have a freaking different kind of like wire for it, like the three freaking wire thing, but I don't have those kind of work 
No, you can't turn the copy protection off. On the PS5, you can turn off HDCP protection, but not on the PS3. Hey. Oh. I'm sorry, I was just occupied for a second. Yeah. Bro, this jump sucks. Bro. Oh wait, I I get it now. Yikes. Yikes. Oh no, is it another one of those levels? Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, this part. This part sucks. Oh bro, it's even worse now. Bro, do I, I don't think I need a super mushroom here. Seven dwarves over here. Okay, one more well to go, and then we're done. Bruh, why does that keep happening? Uh, okay. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Test. Yikes. Hold up. Bro. Just... Just stop, bro. Oh, okay. Okay, that is a terribly placed camera, brother. What if I just let him jump off? Okay, that isn't gonna be that easy now, is it? Bro! That should have jumped on it! Okay, okay. I gotta brute force it. Uh. Oh, there's a mushroom right here. Oh, well, that's a lot easier. Don't care. Keep going. Really? Lame.
Also, I don't know if you've ever played a little game uh, called Super Mario Bros. Special, but that's a game I've played quite a bit of too through uh, Mario Crossover because it has that game in there. Honestly, the levels are pretty well designed, just the original version of the game sucks because it was on the freaking Hudson PC, so. Not a game a lot of people played, but pretty interesting. I mean, most people that played it know it because it was in Mario Crossover, so, um, yeah, it was a game. Yeah, basically it has like eight worlds and they're all completely different from Super Mario 1, but they have similar, similar level kinds of elements to them. And they have like stuff like new power-ups, kind of. Like there's a freaking hammer from Donkey Kong in a couple levels. Oh yeah, um, I, if you want a slightly different version of Super Mario Brothers, that's like harder, and you just you, you kind of just want to play some uh, like Mario Brothers one but different. I'd say it's worth it for like. I mean, if you just care about if you just like the regular Mario Brothers, you're probably better off without it maybe. But I think it's kind of cool. You just see all the differences. I mean, I like Mario one enough where I just bought it because it's kind of like Mario one but not Mario one. Some of the levels are from Lost Levels instead, because they first appeared in Versus Mario, and not Mario 1. So that's kind of interesting, actually. Oh god, the Hammer Brothers! Make them stop. Okay, okay, okay. There. <laughs> They're so evil. Okay, let them pass by, and then make my run for it. It's like seven. It's like eight, eight, three for Mario One, but ramped up to the max. I like how crazy it is, though. I mean, I have the freaking. Rewind feature, so it makes the crazy kind of funny, but. Um, I feel like it's. Like, the levels are all the same as Mario 1, almost. Just, like, they make little tweaks here and there just to make it harder. I don't know if they're different enough to where I'd say it's, like, that big of a deal, but, like,. For example, like, they remove power-ups from a couple levels, like, they- some levels they remove the star in. Um... Like, stuff like that. Or certain, like, blocks are moved around. Cool stuff. Um... I'd say it's... Quite a bit more difficult than Mario 1. Not- not as hard as Lost Levels, but... Definitely a step up. I'd say it's a nice in-between Mario 1 and Lost Levels. I've only beaten the game once though, so I can't really say how much more difficult it is, because I don't know. But I bought it just, you know, to have more for my play all the 2D Mario games, because I didn't really beat most of them kind of thing. Ah, boom. And plus, it's the one Chris Pratt, Pratt played. You should play it. Playing Mario 1 on the Play Choice 10. Or whatever the frick um, Seth Rogen said to correct his fellow Chris Pratt. I spent so much... I spent hours stomping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers arcade game. He should have said Super Mario Brothers, that would have made more sense. I just wonder how 
like, actually seen the arcade version of Super Mario Brothers was back then, because I'm sure a lot of people might have played it, but, like, now it's kind of an obscurity. Like, I never saw it in arcades in the 2000s. When I didn't happen to go to an arcade. They just have, like, Donkey Kong. And maybe sometimes Donkey Kong here. And that's kind of it. No. Okay, that's a lot of hammers. Bowser is trying to bludgeon me. I have to be careful. And we beat Lost Level! Let's freaking go! Do do. We beat the game. Bruh. There's even more kisses on Luigi. That's a funny touch. Thank you for Luigi for restoring peace to our kingdom. Hurrah to our hero, Luigi. Push start. like a, a rhyme that was like something peace has been paved our kingdom has been saved or something I don't know I like how they added more to the song well um that's pretty much it for this stream, but next time I'm going to be playing American Super Mario Brothers 2. So, um, yeah. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out my Discord server link on the sidebar of the Twitch channel thing. And on YouTube, I have a channel with the same name where all my videos are saved with lots of the Mario Kart Tour, other Mario games, um, Splatoon... Castlevania, Kingdom Hearts, and Sonic. So, thank you all so much for watching, and have yourselves a good one. It was nice seeing you all. Take care. Yeah, Rain Reality is pretty cool. Alright, see ya guys.